Here we are again at beautiful Ray Skillman Stadium. This is the Allstate Bontrager Insurance Agency pregame report. Coach, uh, another year, another homecoming, another top 10 team. We are opponent tonight. It's going to be Lawrence Central, and they're uh, very athletic. Yeah, well, anytime you have homecoming in the MIT Conference, you're going to get one of the top 10 teams in the state. Uh, and you just got to be prepared for that. For us tonight, it is homecoming. It's a special activities for the students and the alumni coming back. But for us, really, it's just another game. Uh, we approach it like we do every other game. Obviously, we want to win. We want to win every game. This is a huge game for us tonight. We can uh, we can take command of that second spot in the conference. And, and if Warren Central slips up, it, we could be right there for a conference championship. So we got to take care of business tonight. Uh, and it's going to be a tough task. This is probably the most talented team. Uh, Lawrence Central team that we've seen come in. Hopefully uh, our fans and our environment will overwhelm them a little bit and we can uh, adjust on their confidence and make some big plays and make them think that maybe it's over before it is. So uh, we're going to try to really get after them tonight, but things to expect is they are very big, have great size and great athleticism. Quarterback is a transfer kid who's back to Lawrence Central from Cathedral. Um, great athlete, can run around, throws the ball really well. They have big, tall receivers. Small, fast receivers that have a good running game, and their defense probably up front is as good as we played. Bill Peoples uh, left Southport to take over the helm at Lawrence Central. Obviously, you've had experience uh, in the past few years playing them in the sectional or regional, rather. Uh, so he'll instill his offense, and it's not too much different than what you've seen the past few years from Lawrence Central. Uh, it's 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 it looks more like Lawrence Central than it does Southport. Uh, when he was at Southport, you know, he had one-inch line splits and chucked it up in the air all the time and, and that's good he had a great quarterback and we, we had a hard time getting to him because they didn't have to block but 1.5 seconds here uh, they hold on the ball a little longer because they, they do some more things they can run the option they can hand off and have a nice running game and then they again they throw the ball down the field so uh, it, it, uh, you can see what he's touched uh, especially the defense but offense it, it's a lot like the same old uh, Lawrence Central. You mentioned their up-front defensive line. They also, you look over the past few years, it's almost like they've become linebacker university. They got a, a linebacker at Missouri. They got one starting at Tennessee. And I noticed just this uh, this morning, their other linebacker was offered Northwestern Cincinnati, respectively, for this year. So they'll, they'll come out and attack you. Yeah, they got some D1 players, and uh, their linebackers are always physical and very fast, and they play really hard. And uh, we're going to have to, you know, hold our blocks to the whistle. And we're going to have to do a good job of, 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 again, like last week, five yards at a time and hoping that uh, they give up a little bit. Just going five yards at a time, installing long drives, get them tired. And then when our defense gets out there, you know, we can, hopefully we can shut them down. Last week we really kind of awakened, if you will, on the passing game. Kellums was just spot on, made some incredible uh, passes and I think eight, nine different receivers. And, and not only did he hit them, but, I mean, he was really, really accurate. Yeah, it was nine different receivers, all kinds of different positions, tight ends, uh, running backs, fullbacks, split slots. So uh, that, that's good. It was good for us, a real balanced attack. Uh, we found they, they, they were going to play 10 guys in the box, and their guys up front were really good, like I said, and they really handled us a little bit. But you, you become flat-footed when you're playing run defense only, and we were able to take advantage. Uh, Tyler Boyer's got great speed, probably the most disrespected kid in the MIT conference when it comes to that. He, you got to remember, he is on the state champion 4x4 team, uh, so he can run. And he got behind him one time and got a big touchdown. Uh, your son, Trevor Holt, got behind him with great speed for a big, long gainer. So uh, we, we can hurt people with that long pass and, and pass down the field vertical from our wings, slots, you know, our splits. But uh, Corey Heinrich come in, really solidified the tight end spot for us, really does a good job with run block, and he's got great hands and catch the ball in the flats as well. A lot of action tonight. It is homecoming. Come out and uh, root on the Trojans. Coach, uh, good luck to you and enjoy the festivities. Yeah, stay hydrated. It's going to be very, very hot, so visit the concession stand. And please come out to the beautiful Ray Skillman Stadium. Uh, everybody's got a place to set now. Enjoy homecoming 2016. Go Trojans.